Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly apologize for the length of this massive video that I have this haul, but if you're a reseller, you're just curious about reselling, um, please watch the entirely and stay tuned because I do give a lot of tips and tricks. I have a wealth of information all compact in this large mega video, but I do want to just pop in here and do a quick intro and apologize. I know it's so long and I appreciate each and every one of you. So please comment, subscribe and like and share my videos. And it just means a lot to me that you're here. Thank you for watching and let's just move on to this video. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. I started reselling in 1999 on eBay and I believe in 1998, that's when eBay first started. A little tidbit. So please like and subscribe, comment if you're interested in any of these things. If you're a reseller too in North Carolina, I would love to hear from you because I source pretty frequently now and I probably ran into you. So I have a massive haul, like massive haul. I wish you could see my table right now because it is covered. I source consecutively for the past three days and we do have one Goodwill every June. Someone donates all their Anthropology, J. Crew, Talbots, Crown and Ivy, um, let's see, Abercrombie and Fitch, and, uh, oh, Farm Rio, like all those type of free people. So I didn't get it all because they did mark it up. Um, some of the pieces were $9.99, $14.99, $24.99. Like that was just a little bit not enough to have a resale value. And we did try um, to ask them for like a discount because we had, me and my daughter, when I say we, my daughter's also a full-time reseller. And um, yeah, she loves it. I love it. And so anyways, we asked for a discount. That's what I was going to say. And they said no, which we were kind of hoping they would. Sometimes Goodwill will give you a discount because if you're going up there with like $500 worth of merchandise and you ask for like a five or 10% off, um, certain Goodwills will accommodate, but, um, not ours. So anyways, and then when they don't sell things, they just mark it down and then, then we, then we buy it. Okay. So we are going to be showing some 1980s girls sleepover games which are really cool some shoes some bags some pottery barn cushions and uh, a bunch of new with tags so if you're interested uh go grab yourself a tea or a coffee your drink of choice sit down and relax or maybe have this for background um and enjoy so i'm going to be starting with the stuff that's right on the top so no rhyme or reason and i'm going to start with two pairs of shoes although i do think i have more but again it's a big pile and i gotta take pictures but first i want to do this video for you guys so the first thing that I'm going to be showing you are these Earth. I thought they were Birkenstocks at first, right? They actually feel better made than Birkenstocks, dare I say. Like new. You know, the cork, the orthopedic arch support in there. They're fully lined, so these will be excellent for fall and winter. Um, there is a Velcro, cl Velcro closure. And be careful, you could say the word Velcro on Poshmark, but you cannot say Velcro on eBay because it's a copyright thing and they will take your listings down. Speaking of listings, has anyone got listings removed for saying the word dupe? These are a size eight and a half. And these are the Aurora Jade style. If you're eight and a half, they retail for over a hundred dollars and I'll probably put them up for about 60. I paid six. All right. So I've been having trouble on Poshmark with using the word dupe. I have a bag and it's a Givenchy dupe and really did a fly just pass me again seriously it seems like every time i'm doing a video a fly Ooh. door's been open and closed today so every time i use the word dupe thousands of people on poshmark and ebay use the word dupe i know not to use inspired or uncanny and stuff like that because they will take them down so i i don't know what's going on it's a dupe no one's gonna find it because it's like an unbranded um so i used the word dupe they took it down i tried to put it up again they took it down again and there's still like a thousand people with it up that they're not taking it down, so go figure. I don't know. I do have on Poshmark 8,000 listings up and I have a thousand on eBay. So I am just under 10,000, which is my goal for 2024 for Christmas to have 10,000 listings, active listings. Okay, what about these? J. Crew. J. Crew, about a two inch block heel. This is a block heel, not a cone heel. And still got the stickers on. Green was the color of the week when you are sourcing at Poshmark. Uh, Poshmark, when you're sourcing at Poshmark. Well, I mean, you can source at Poshmark. When you are sourcing at any of the Goodwills, they use stickers. And they go, um, they have green, blue, orange, and yellow. And this week they were on green, and next week they're on blue. If you could figure out your store's code, every, every color 
each week has a, a color that they're putting out. And so it makes it a lot easier for full-time resellers, such as myself and resellers in general, or even just thrifters, to go into the store. And if you wanna look at everything, you could stay on top of it by the color. So since I do source at the same Goodwills uh, week after week, I, I figured out the color, Not you know, it's only four colors, and this week was green. So I know when I go into any of the Goodwills in my area to just look at the green tag. And see, these are shoes but on um on clothing which i'll show you the tag is green so i could see as i'm just going through i could see wh what the green tags are next week is going to be blue and i will just be able to go and look at the blue and then um yellow and orange and it just keeps on repeat and then just repeats all four colors repeat my goodwill system may not be your goodwill system but they do use the color system so just because mine was green this week, yours might have been blue or green. I mean, blue, orange, yellow, or green. And so if you could figure that out, it makes it a lot easier and not so overwhelming to enter a Goodwill and know that you have to be in for the long haul. I think we had, I think I sourced probably all in all about eight hours of sourcing this week, which is a lot going one by one by one by one with thousands of um, things. So. Um, to you anti-resellers out there that feel like we're just, you know, getting the good stuff, try it. Try it for yourself. Go into a Goodwill and go one by one by one. Or if you figure out the colors, you can do it that way. But um, finding things and looking them over to make sure there's no holes and no tears, no missing buttons, burn stains, cigarette stains. Like there's just, there's a reason why people donate stuff. Now, if it is new with tags, it's new with tags. However, that said, there was some new with tags Chico's items that I found this piece that this past week. They had grease stains all over them. So I didn't buy them even though they were new with tags. So, um, and then you come home, if it's not new with tags, you know, are you gonna wash it? Are you gonna steam it? Are you going to then having to fold it, inventory it, put it up in your home, wait for it to sell? You know, there's a lot that goes into reselling. You're not just grabbing any old thing from a yard sale or a Goodwill and throwing it online and, oh gosh, I made $100. It really doesn't work that way. You have to be invested. You have to like fashion. You have to know your brands. You have to keep up with brands that are selling that are popular this month, might not be popular next month. So when you're at home and you're not sourcing things and you're not steaming, ironing, washing, listing, relisting, and so forth, you are watching other YouTubers, other fashion YouTubers talking about trends because you gotta stay uh, ahead of the trends. People that buy secondhand like to be trendy and like to save money and they are looking for specifics, style numbers, good pictures, clean items, trendy uh, items, um, or vintage. People, you know, there's vintage also people like. But there is a lot that goes into reselling. I don't work 40 hours a week. I probably work 50 or 60 hours a week. But it's not all eight hour days because I'm, well, there's just so many little things that goes into reselling. But it is a real job. It is real work. And I like to recently think about it as in people that are realtors that or buy houses and flip them. A fashion, a fashion re reselling does have sort of a bad vibe. People are, people think that resellers are, I guess going into stores and buying up all the name brand stuff, they have so much. Cause I've even talked to managers at the Goodwills and just their stores. They are happy to accommodate resellers because we are helping keep things off the land, landfill. And we are helping just constantly, uh, so they could put new merch, new merch out because they get tons of donations. And there is something for everyone every day. We're not buying up all the good stuff. We miss out on a lot. And there's just so many other resellers out there. If you do not want to be called a reseller, I like fashion flipper. So we are flipping fashion instead of homes. So getting back to this. Alrighty. So let's see. These are a size seven and a half J. Crew. They probably retail for over a hundred. And they are just adorable. Two pairs of shoes. How about these? 1988 to 1999 Girl Talk Edition. So these are a game of truth or dare designed just for you. And look at the way that 80s girls used to dress when they were teenagers. I love that, I love that. So I'm just gonna open it and show you the cards. So this is Truth or Dare in the 80s. I would have loved to have had this. Check this out, like, okay, my turn. And what was the worst punishment you were ever given? That's number five. And you're just going around with your friends and I guess answering it, punished. I'm trying to think. I think for me, if I had to answer that right now, 
I was at home and my brother at the time asked me if I wanted to go out and I think it was about 9 p.m. and he asked me if I wanted to go to an airport to watch planes with him and his friends that I could invite a couple of my girlfriends and whatnot. And I said yes. And I think I left a note maybe for my mom or something like that. So needless to say, my mom wasn't at home. She worked nights. And um, by the time she and my stepfather got home, they, they didn't know where I was. Maybe they didn't see the note. I don't know. But I was out and it was like two or three. Keep in mind in the 80s, no cell phones. And um, I remember looking at the clock and telling my brother, oh my gosh, it's 3 a.m. You know, mom's probably super worried. And he goes, well, didn't you leave her, leave her a note saying that, you know, she was, you were with me, you know? And I said I did, but I got home and um, the police were there. I think we got home like at 5 a.m. or something like that. The police were there and I got punished for two weeks. No friends over for two weeks, which was just awful. <laughs> Um, cause I hung out a lot after school and Friday, Saturday nights at pizza places, you know, your basic eighties hangout. And it was very upsetting. And I didn't understand at the time, I think I was about 14. I didn't understand why my mom was punishing me because I was out with my brother. And for some reason I thought that was okay. So, you know what? Let's just open it up to the comments. Can you think of a time you were punished by your parents, regardless of how old you were? And what was it for? What did you do? Share the deeds. Okay. So then it comes with all these little cards. The first name of the author of blank had a special meaning and it says favorite book. So I've never had this game. I just thought it was wicked cool. So I did pick it up and for my daughter to play with her friends. Oh, excuse me. I just dropped something. Okay. And I will probably sell it afterwards because I did do a, uh, a check on eBay and they were about going for about $50. Okay, so this one also says, you will make blank a year before you turn 30. And it says salary, you will make blank a year. So that is the first game I got, Girl Talk. And then the second game, again, Girl Talk. And it's a game of, oh, this one also says Truth or Dare. Did I buy the same game? No, this one is different. This one's different. Um, this one is different. It says, describe the perfect boy. Um, blindfolded in one minute, lace a sneaker. Okay, and then the game inside is slightly different. And it, it, they say career, it's children, and marriage on this game. So this is the board on this one. And again, I guess you twist it like that and then read. And this question, oh, okay, it comes out. The other one had the plastic too. So these are spell your entire name backwards. So again, just for, I would say preteen, preteen games, just for fun. So anyways, all right, I will not spend any more time talking about my two board games. Okay, next are these Pottery Barn rocking chair cushions. And these are adorable. They feel like hemp. And here's the Pottery Barn. I got them for $2 each. And you know Pottery Barn, they were probably like $50 each new. Pottery Barn, there we go hemp and there's really just nothing wrong with them. I got a set of two, again, $2 each, and I'm gonna put them outside on our rocking chairs. Okay, so next we have new with tags from the mall, Miss Elaine plus size 1X, and it's a full length, very soft and warm and cozy, and it says, let's see, size 1X, and it retailed for $76 who is spending $76 for a nighty? I have no idea. Anyways, full length, no slits, very cozy, baby blue, and I am five, seven and a half, slash five, eight, I'm not as tall as I once was. Um, and it hits right above the ankle on me. So it would be ankle, uh, ankle length if you are under five, seven. Okay, so next, is a Polo Ralph Lauren Blue Label XXL, and it's a sort of a Henley, or no, popover. It's not a full full button up, but it's white, and it's very hard to find white, substantial quality shirts, secondhand, that don't have stains. That's the thing. And I looked this one over. I had a flashlight with me. Actually, it's one of those black lights. I got on Amazon. Actually, I'll link it in the description. Um, so after I do sourcing for hours, I will sit, find a sofa or something at any thrift store you're at, sit down and really just go over the pieces. Basically hot zones, is there any ring around the collar? Is there any um, pit stains? 
Is there any coffee stains on the front? Is there hem stains? And then just look it over to make sure there's no stains on it before purchasing it. If there's a surface stain, that usually comes out in the wash. So, you know, just use your judgment. These I brought, they're Fabletics. I brought them for myself and they are Fabletics, size XL. And they are a full, very long length, like maybe a 33 inch inseam. And they have that big slit in them, which is really cool. And they are just a pull on winter. Um, I don't know if you could see like the knit. They're like a knit, a tiny rib knit leggings and they have like a big thick band right here they just look like really comfortable and um i have a bad back i have spinal spinal stenosis or whatever if anyone has that let me know what are you doing with what are you doing for it i don't wear a back brace but i wear like a t kind of like a tight you know leggings like this that have like a band that kind of forces you know you to have good posture and then um almost like a workout sports thing Velcro <laughs> um, for back support, that's what I wear. So anyways, I thought these would be really cool on top because they have like lots of support. And again, with leggings, if you could size down in leggings and you have a bad back, you know, whatever it takes, go ahead and do that because it, it helps your back. Whatever forces you to keep your hips out and your back straight, do it. All right, so next is orange tag, Gap XL. I thought this was a hoodie when I brought it, but it is not. Oh, it's new with tags, okay. So, oh, it only retailed for $39.50. I like this, so I might keep it for myself. And it is just a, a zip long white sleeve and it has the YKK zipper, which is a good hardy zipper. And yeah, nothing else I could say about it. A little, that wasn't a stain, okay, a piece of lint. Okay, so that was, okay. Then I found a new with tags, Coldwater Creek, which is no longer in business. Retails for $129, and they do have a cult following. There is a lot of people who love Cold Water Creek, and this looks like maybe a Y2K or a 90s. It's like that acetate, like Chico's Traveler's fabric. It doesn't wrinkle. You could, you know, crunch it up. Great for travel. It is new with tags. It will not be getting washed. And she's a size 3X, which is an amazing size. Cold Water Creek sells well if it's plus size. There's so many brands that sell well, but only in plus size. I'm not even really sure why that is. You would think, like when I first started in 1999, it was brands like Torrid and Lane Bryant, Maurice's. You can't even give those away now. People want more substantial, like J. Jill, Elaine Fisher, Coldwater Creek, um, Judy Blue if you're buying jeans. There's certain brands, key brands, that people are looking for if they are an extra large or above. Coldwater Creek is one of them. All right, so these are Hill Crow by Anthropology Jeans, first time ever finding. They are size 31. They look pretty big. I have a 34 inch waist and, no, okay, they probably wouldn't because of my hips. But 31 looks pretty big. I don't know, maybe they're supposed to sit lower on your hips. Very, very soft, super wide leg denim. They almost feel like chambray, they're so good. And they have these patch pockets in the front for your phone, in the back, and are they new with tags? No, they are not new with tags, just size 31 by Pill Crow. They are gorgeous, and I'm sure they probably retail for about 158. I'll probably put them up for about 60 to 70 and then take some offers. All right, next I have J. Crew. Okay, here's so here's some new merch. So this is new with tags J. Crew, and it's kind of like that. Um, it's caught up. I always call this like a coastal grandma color. It's turquoise green, maybe like a turquoise green color. And then I also have the same one in a baby blue. And there, this one is a size large. Was that, let me see if that one was a size large. Yeah, they're both size large. This is a baby blue color. All right, next is another one by J. Crew, And it's a baby blue, definitely, but kind of like turquoise look. I might keep this one for myself. I really like this a lot. And it is classic by J. Crew, size 14, and it's just a blouse. It looks like maybe a size large or extra large, button up, cap sleeve, and that's what that looks like. Okay, and next I have this gorgeous, I've never heard of this brand. I thought it was boutique, but it feels actually too industrial to be boutique, so I'm wondering if it did come from Anthro. It's kind of heavy, it's pearls, and it's a bodysuit, it's sheer, and the brand is, if anybody knows, salt 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 so it's size large salt 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 it has like the boning v-neck 
look how gorgeous that is. Front and back. Either wear a colored bra underneath if you're that daring or a cami, maybe even a skims like your skin tone underneath. Beautiful. All right, next is more J. Crew size large. And this is, what is it called? See, J. Crew has their style number on it. And when you're listing and taking pictures, put all that in the title because that's what people are searching for, believe it or not. So this is just a very light knit, cream colored. In fact, I own this one in pink. I think I wore it already in a video. All right, next we have Pure Jill size 4X. Uh, long sleeve blue and again 4x look at that very very comfortable and it is 100% cotton and it's a v-neck very very nice and then I have a Duluth this I did buy for myself and it might be a pajama top it's it, it feels it feels like modal it's so insanely soft Duluth size extra large look how gorgeous that is and the fabric is Oh, tensil and modal. Okay. Tensil and modal are very nice fabrics. They're not polyester, which we already know that's made of plastic. Very good quality. All right. So the next one, and I have two of these as well. J. Crew extra large, new with tags, lavender ruffle sleeve blouse. And I have one in purple. And I also have the same one in this yellow gingham. Look how gorgeous that is. And yeah, they're both new with tags. Both new with tags, so pretty, look at that. Again, I will put this all up in my closet uh, on Poshmark and eBay. Um, MC Wear For You is my name and I will link that in the description to help you find it. So these are new with tags, first time ever finding Anthropology. Super wide leg, floral print, extremely well made. It looks like they retailed for 150 and they went on sale for 89 and they are a size 10 and it's the Mave, part of their Mave line. And it does have some back pockets and it also has some front pockets. All right, next I have two jumpsuits. I did pay up for these. So I'll probably list them accordingly. And this is J. Crew size, let's see, large, full length metallic jumpsuit, wide leg, no slits or anything. Great for the holidays, crossover. And I found one in that uh, rose gold on top of some taupe. And then I also found this ribbed kind of Henley one in blue, and it has kind of like a cinched waist. Super loungy, but also dressy, look at that. And they're both size large, large by J. Crew. That's the new label up there. All right, such good pieces, guys. This one was a Abercrombie and Fitch new with tags, XXL, and it is a button up and somebody had tied it there. I'll probably untie it for pictures, I don't know. White and blue. Moving right along, we have another yellow floral rose print, just like the lavender and the yellow and white gingham, size extra large. They are just so cottage core and just so cute and pretty. I love them myself, <laughs> can't keep them. All right, next I have some leather. I pick up vintage leather all the time. It doesn't really sell at this time of um, year, but it does sell in the winter time, so I still pick it up, providing it doesn't have any imperfections. This is a size 10, which I'm gonna say would be a modern maybe eight. I do put measurements, waist, and I make sure that I tell them they are vintage. And they are they lined? Yeah, they are lined. And as you know, genuine leather pants nowadays, leather is expensive, you know, leather jackets, leather pants. So buying vintage and secondhand is probably the way to go. So this is leather, 100% leather. Again, uh, Bernard Couture, size 10. And this type of backing also with no pockets and it has like kind of a V, people um, people say it makes your booty looks like, look like a heart. <laughs> so they like that, so that was like an added feature. And again, they're full length, no slits. They are fully lined and 100% leather and they are flawless. I have some other black ones up in different sizes and I also have some chocolate brown ones up listed right now. All right, so the, the first thing I found actually when I didn't thrift all this stuff was this linen jammies. And this is new with tags by J. Crew, size large and it's a two piece linen jammy set. It's, you know, and it also has, you could uh, adjust the adjust the uh, straps and these are the little bottoms i don't know why these waists are looking so big to me <laughs> it's drawstring though so i guess it doesn't matter 
but maybe they're meant to sit lower on your body. Okay, so those are linen. I dropped the leather pants. Excuse me. Okay, moving right along. And we have Anthropology XL watercolor blue and yellow sweater. And this is what the uh, tag looks like. All right, very, very pretty. So we got stripes in the back um, and we got tie dye on the front, blue and green. Speaking of green, we have Lens and Outfitter size extra large cardigan. It looks new without tags, new without tags, size extra large. These little cardigans have been popular for several years. Um, girls wear them as, as a shirt, just button up, like as a shirt, they wear them um, with some low rise jeans or even high rise jeans. So people my age wear them open with like cami underneath. So we got that. This I'm not sure about, I haven't researched it, but I don't know if it's a dress and it maybe had a slip, but the slip didn't make it to the thrift store or is it a beach cover up? So it is a, maybe a 34, 35 inches in length and it has like a little ruffle and it is J. Crew size extra large, like most of this stuff, three quarter sleeves, uh, baby blue, kind of like an eyelet lace type of vibe. And it is right above the knee. Again, I'm five, seven and a half. And so, um, let's see, no pockets. I'll probably sell it as a beach cover up, I think, since it's summer. All right, so next we have another J. Crew, J. Crew Extra Large, and it is one of those poplin ruffle. And J. Crew also, the newer J. Crew, if you're if you're looking for J. Crew, not all J. Crew is created equally. You have they date their pieces, newer pieces date their pieces, and if you look for the fabric tag, not by the collar but underneath. By the ham this is what you'll find and you will find the date of when it was produced which is spring of 2021 that's when it was in the stores guys so look for the date tag before purchasing and you know this is new as tags because um again not all are created equally and also keep in mind that under the j crew if there was dots that means j crew factory which i know i have some here J. Crew factory. I still find it sells just as good, but some people say it doesn't. So button sleeves, basically with the uh, for the office. Basically, if you do have an office job, um, I picture this with white linen pants or trousers. Or if you're going to be putting dark denim, be careful with dark denim and this white fabric. It would probably stain if you were tucking it in. But oh my gosh, such a pretty pretty little top. All right, next we have Maeve again, new with tags, retails for $98 or $108 in Canada. This sweater is gorgeous and it's by Maeve. I really like, I really like that line at Anthro. I like this look. So this is a V-neck sweater and it has, does that have pockets? It almost looks like it has pockets, guys, but it doesn't. So it has pleats. Yeah, it has pleats, kind of, I guess, cut to cinch the waist. And I'm also noticing in the back, it also has pleats. So it's not really cropped, maybe I would say hip level. On me anyways, hip level. And that is the pattern, kind of houndstooth. Yeah, and it's tan and like a mustard yellow color. Perfect for fall. All right, I don't wanna have this stuff to fall. So we're gonna take pictures of it all after we steam it. So Talbot's 2X Paisley. I love picking up these little three quarter sleeve cardigans are very popular in the mature beauty community. These are really soft and nice. Talbot's just always puts a little extra into their clothing, hence why they're more expensive. For example, if this was something from a different brand, usually it wouldn't have that ribbon. Just to, like the little extra touches that Talbot puts in, I really appreciate. And the ribbon is actually makes the button adhere a little bit more than just like throwing it on um, the knit. So I do like when Talbots and other nicer brands do that. So it is a cardigan and it is a full length cardigan and the fabric is really pretty. It's blues and lavenders, very, very pretty. All right, next is something else that I really like, but you know, you can't keep everything. So Ann Taylor, size large, um, no retail. It just says Ann Taylor, size large. And it feels like linen, so I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna look at that. So this is a little bit cropped in the front, longer in the back, kind of lagging look. 
the buttons. If they were wooden, it would definitely be lag and look, but I may still just throw lag and look as a keyword. But this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a green, green. It's a green color, not kind of like a green color it is. And it feels like it has linen in it, so let's check. And again, down by the hem. Ooh, there we go. And what are we? We have the RN number. If it didn't have a tag, another note. If it did not have a tag and I didn't know what the brand was, if you look on the RN number, there's a site online. You just Google um, RN numbers and it'll probably take you to the site. But if you had put the RN number in this site, it will tell you the brand, which is really just cool. And so that's what I use. Um, I remember having to use it for an Elaine Fisher piece. I felt it and it felt like it felt like Elaine Fisher to me. And I wasn't sure. Um, and I typed in the RN number and it came up Elaine Fisher. Um, and so, yes. So 73% linen, 27% rayon. That is a high linen content, but it's not enough to make it wrinkle, which is awesome. So you could have the breathable linen fabric without having to be a slave to your steamer or iron because we all know linen wrinkles like crazy. Okay, Abercrombie and Fitch. Abercrombie and Fitch, half zip or three quarter, no, one fourth zip, XL, pink and white stripe. It has your A and F right there. And it is long sleeves, a, like I said, quarter zip. I would say full length. And does it have kangaroo pockets? No, it doesn't, but it does have hip pockets, guys. Really, really cool. I would wear that. Oh my gosh, I really would wear that. That is really cool. Okay, so we're almost done with one pile. Okay, next is an Eloquy linen dress. Eloquy recently went to walmart.com, but it's the Eloquy Elements. So if you just see Eloquy, Eloquy, that is from the Eloquy website. If you see elements under it, that's part of the Walmart line. And this is a size 28. So very surprised that there was no stains. The only thing it was missing was its belt. And uh, most people that I know cut those off and don't even use a belt. But what I would do is I would use your, like, your favorite belt with it. A little gold chain belt would be amazing with this. Poplin uh, sleeves, kind of puffy, but it also has elastic. And the sleeves go right above the elbow. And it is definitely a maxi length. And then it ties right here. So pretty. I mean, bridal shower, baby shower, if you are not a plus size 28 maternity wear. And it is just gorgeous. Full length, no stains, white linen, 100% linen. So very, very good, substantial piece. All right, next I have a size four, Banana Republic. New with tags, faux leather midi skirt. And it's one of those circle skirt. This is called a circle skirt because it looks like a, well it is. It's a half circle at the bottom hem, but if you open her up, it looks like a Christmas tree scarf. <laughs> Christmas tree scarf. So that is a circle midi skirt. So I'll be putting um, faux leather, circle midi skirt. And then you put the brand first for listing. And does it have a retail? Retailed for 110. All right, and so it does zip up the back. I think I already said it's a size four, good size. And that's what that looks like. Okay, so next we have some linen trousers. And these are the paperback trousers that have the tie here. These became popular, goodness, oh, maybe like 2016, 2017. And they're still going in strong, apparently. So these are new with tags, J. Crew, size 12, which was a very good size. They say that the average women's size is a 14 or a 14 or 16 in, in the USA. So this is a very good size. Size 12 is, you know, around that. There we go. And they are just a full length. They're not cropped. And they are a wide leg, very beachy. Linen, beautiful, just beautiful. Very vacation vibe, cruise, very pretty. Okay, check out this pattern. I wanted to love this on me, but I feel like a little girl wearing it. I may still wear it because I love the pattern. J. Crew, size large. It was oversized because it was kind of big on me, so I'm gonna say it's an oversized fit. But check out that pattern. Oh my gosh, there was something about this style sleeve with all this ruffle that 
my 50 year old self doesn't, doesn't feel too comfortable in. If you do, more power to you. But there's something about this, or maybe it's just cottage core, that makes me feel like I should be frolicking in the backyard playing. But anyways, I tried it on. I love this pattern so much. And I thought it would be super cute tucked in with a paper bag jean skirt that I love that I, that I own. So I thought it'd be really cute with that. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Again, new with tags. And it's just, I'm so drawn to this pattern. Oh my goodness. It's the, maybe it's that color, that shade of green and the flowers. Um, I don't, I don't know what kind of flowers those are, but I will find out when I list it. Definitely. And then this is called smocking. Remember when you were a little girl, your mom put you in the smocking dresses. They had smocking. They had like, you know, fruits and vegetables and animals on them. The smocking. So that's what's reminding me of. And then it ties at the back of the neck. Anyways, so cute, size large, J.Crew. All right, this I am definitely keeping, even though it's new with tags. And this is Banana Republic, size extra large. And it is a white drawstring. And it is a, I would say, hip level slash crop. I like to start off working out in these, actually, because I'm usually cold when I start working out. So I usually start... In the, in the fall and winter anyways, at the gym, I'll put this over my tank top and take it off mid. But it's a real, it's not the scuba dive fabric, but it's pretty close. It almost feels like a dupe to the LuLaRoe ones. LuLaRoe? No, 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 not LuLaRoe. Lululemon, not LuLaRoe. Oh my goodness. <sighs> All right. It feels like a dupe of Lululemon to me. Um, no thumb holes, but yeah, just solid white. Good substantial piece. And it is lined. Yes, it has your traditional uh, jogger material inside. Okay. Whew, my goodness, we are um, about 40 minutes in, I think. I don't know. Okay, next are these Bionics, size six and a half, like new. Bionic retails for about 129, and these are genuine leather mules. They have arch support. I have Bionic loafers and Bionic sneakers. And if you have, if you have to be on your feet for a long time, if you have foot issues of any kind, if you do not want to have foot issues of any kind when you're older, stuff with arch support, just stuff with arch support get. The worst kind of shoes, I remember my podiatrist telling me were those hey dude ones, awful for your feet. Uh, you might as well just be wearing Crocs. So um, anything with arch support and arch support has come a long way. I mean, they used to be kind of frumpy. It would just be sass. In fact, I think I have some sass um, here for sale but they've come a long way. Okay, so next was a new to me brand, guys. I saw this and it is faux suede, but I thought it was wicked cool with all these super long fringes, very Southwestern. And I did a search for it, size large slash extra large. I did a search for the brand and I just searched on eBay and they were recently selling 35 to $45. So I did pick it up. Um, I guess true to size, you cannot see, but again, I'm five, seven and a half and the fringe is past my knees. Yeah, you can't really see. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it on, sometimes I do that. <laughs> All right, next is a linen Lauren Ralph Lauren green tag. Uh, Ralph Lauren purple tag is the most highest and most expensive. So these tags, the purple one is the most expensive. The second most expensive is the black tag. The lower tier is the green. But it, because it's linen, I should be able to get about $30 to $35. It is a YN print. It has toggle buttons, which you don't really see that much in this brand. And the fact that it's linen as well, I'm going to say this is vintage. 100% linen. Um, made in China. All right. And it is short sleeves. And that's really kind of Hawaiian-ish. So we have that. Next we have... Oops. Sorry about that, it's stuck. New with tags, Anthropology, again with the Pill Crow, Crow, retailed for $98, size large. And it is super, super puff sleeve, not puff, but wide. I think they're called Batwing or Dolman. I always get bat, Batwing and Dolman uh, confused, but I will find that out and put that in the title and description because that helps. And it's just a black pullover. I think it's eyelet lace. But it's not see-through. And it kind of has textured. That's what it is, textured. 
and it's a button up. There we go. Let's just, there we go. Very, very pretty. I like that too. Okay, next is a full length dress. I was sourcing with my daughter. She actually found this. Um, again, Eloquy Elements, size 16, and it is just gorgeous. Sheer sleeves, it's new with, new with tags, and it has these really pretty ruffles on the side. It's fully lined. Uh, is it a V? Yes, it's a V-neck. Screaming fall, fall to me, which, you know, it's gonna be here before we know it. It is ankle length, size 16. It's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful fabric. Eloquy Elements, again, Eloquy Elements, uh, walmart.com. All right, so I have a few purses that I'm gonna show you. I cleaned out my closet and um, and got rid of some of my purses because do we really need 40 purses? No, we don't. Okay, so this is a crossbody, and I kind of want to keep it, but I'm not gonna lock myself keeping it. So usually when I go out of town, um, I think I was at Tampa, I always um, purchase like a, I go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx and I purchase a little purse. I think it was like maybe 30 or 40, but this is like a um, Bottega Veneta dupe and it's a neutral tan color. I don't know why I don't use it. I don't know. And it is very roomy. Nothing's going to fall out and it has a side zip right here and it has another pouch on the other side. Again, though, it's no brand. It's no brand. It feels like leather, but I don't think it would have been leather for that price. And I know I try to stick with, um, you know, 30 to $40 mark when I buy, like, at Mar Marshalls or Teacher Max. Kind of feels like leather, though, but I don't know. Anyways, I should be able to get my money back for it. And I think I've had it. I think I've probably used it maybe four times because I do switch out my purse probably every time I leave the house, which is kind of crazy because I leave the house every other day. But um, I use my purses. I don't just, like, have them and I collect them, but... I mean, I do collect them, but I use them and I always coordinate my purse to my outfit, or at least I try, uh, 80s girl. <laughs> so anyways, that's what that looks like. It's just a full, very length, but you could make it smaller. And it is a flap over style and it's a mocha nude color. And it's that Bottega dupe. Okay, next I have vintage. I love, love, love finding vintage bags. And I sourced this bag, I think a couple years ago. The brand is O-R-O-T-O-N, or Oroton. Oroton, I'm not even sure if that'll pick up on camera. Oroton. And um, I liked that, look at that. No, it's, it probably used to have a long strap, but you have to carry it like this. And it is genuine leather, and it has a back zip. I think I've used it, I probably have carried it again four or five times. And when you open it up, so it has one big pocket there, and on the other side, one big pocket, and it does have a zipper, zips, and there's the brand again inside, Genuine Leather. <sighs> I'm looking at these things, I wanna keep them, but I'm not gonna let myself. So again, and I think it's like maybe 10 by 10. Okay, next I have a Secan one, Calvin Klein, and this is the piece that goes, it's, uh, I think they call them wristlets, but I had bought a tote, and I sold the tote and I couldn't find this. She was happy, you know, she didn't know that it came with this. I didn't say that it came with it. I knew it was missing. Um, these are good when you're sourcing or these are good because it does fit your phone. And these are leather, all weather leather, like the duty and the uh, bird bags. Um, and these are good if you were just like running in and out of stores and you could just put them on your wrist. But it did uh, hook on to it hooked on to a tote that I already sold. So I'm just going to sell this probably for 25. Okay. Next I have, do I even have to say what this is a dupe? So this is a Hermes. Is it Kelly? I, I don't know if it's the Kelly bag or the, it's a Hermes dupe, which currently is the most expensive bag in the world. So a Hermes leather, leather dupe uh, is usually about 500. And if it was a real Hermes, it would be 50,000 to 100 or actually 200,000. So um, I picked this up. I think I picked it up when I was on a vacation somewhere too. I'm trying to think, okay, so it does have the lock and it really does lock. Like you could a legit lock and unlock your bag like the regular Hermes. This is a <clears throat> pebbled leather and the key to unlock it 
which I don't think I've ever used the lock, but there's the key, kind of like a skeleton key. And, um, you know, it holds its shape when it's full. It's a gorgeous bag. I will probably list it for a couple hundred because it is genuine leather and it has a lot going on for it. Like it's very well made. It's leather. I'm trying to see if it has a tag name. Oh, it does. It does have a tag name. It just says made in Italy, 100% leather on the, on the tag. So it may be an Anafil dupe. I collect, <clears throat> I collect Anafil bags and I love the Hermes Lindy. I mean, Anafil bag, I think I have them in all the colors. And I thought I probably would, I thought I would have used it more than I did. But the last thing you want is someone thinking it's real and they're robbing you thinking it's real. Um, so I don't know. It, it is flawless. It has the feet, it's silver hardware. I mean, it is, it's gorgeous, it's a gorgeous bag, but I don't use it, so why am I keeping it? The straps are really nice as well. Okay, moving right along. Oh my goodness. All right, so I hung up some things. We're getting down to the bottom here. I have a Chico's Acetate, which is almost like the Chico Travelers um, tank. I just sold this one in blue last week. I think I got 25. So just bread and butter. And it is a size three. They use vanity sizing. Their size three is an XL. Their size two is a large and their size one is a medium. Um, yeah, that's how it works. Vanity sizing is one, two, three, four, what have you. Okay, so that Chico's. Next I have gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I love this so much. Oh my goodness, it's Eloquii Elements again, guys. Size 20. So beautiful, again, kind of with the smocking. Just gorgeous. I just sold a Love Shack Fancy uh, for Target dress that was exactly like this, just with a different pattern. And I think I wore it to my daughter's bridal shower. Gorgeous dress, no slits, full length maxi, and just beautiful colors, beautiful, beautiful colors. Pink, uh, pinks, like a dark fuchsia pink, white, and a baby, like Barbie pink, okay? Okay, next, oof, are these. So we have a Talbot's blue and white polka dot, long sleeve, sheer, but it is lined. All right. Next, we have a mod cloth size 3X long blue maxi with pockets, full length and lined. And it's by mod cloth. Let me show you what the tag looks like. Mod cloth and plus size does well, size 2X. Alrighty. And then we have a Talbot's size 1X, kind of like a creamy color, semi sheer sleeves, but it is lined. It's not, it's not, um, yeah, it's lined, it's not see-through. Just beautiful, again with that smocking. So maybe just smocking is having a moment right now. All right, this is a new to me brand I never heard of. I'm not on social media, Instagram, Facebook. I'm not on any of those things, TikTok. So I don't, I have to just depend on YouTube to keep me informed unless somebody tells me this is Cody Phillips for Minnel, L, Minnel LA. I don't know, but these have a, rate, a good resale value. I'm not going to read the saying, but you could, but it is, you know, kind of profan profound, not profound, profanity. There you go. They're wicked cool. And they are men's, believe it or not. And they are a size 34 man's. And check them out. Look at the patches. So it's like kind of grunge. I would say grunge, a grunge look, wrapper look. I don't know. And they're very heavy. They are hundred percent cotton. So just kind of cool. All right, next we have some Fabletics nylon uh, workout athletic pants. They say Fabletics in the back. I brought them for myself. They were a little too big in the waist. They are, let me know what size. They are, oh, XXL slash 1X. And I would say they run a little big. And, or maybe true to size. I don't know. I wear a size large to extra large in Old Navy, and I always compare everything to that. These were, these were big. And they are parachute pants. I think that's what they called them in the 80s. They do have the gray, if you're walking, the reflectant, you know, line when you're walking, um, the jogger material, and you could make it. So that's what those look like. All right, let's move on to a few bras. Okay, uh, the first bra was Soma. Soma 42G. All Soma sizes do well. <clears throat> 42G. 
All right, I have two new with tags Fenty bras, Savage Fenty by Rihanna, I think. And I don't, I don't pick these up unless they're new with tags because they don't sell very well anymore. Unless they're new with tags. And this is a size 16, 18. So there's no cup sizes. I guess they just use, um, if you are a size 16, 18 in a blouse, maybe that would fit you, I would think. Maybe up to a double or triple D. And the next one is an underwire one, again, new with tags. And this, oh, this size is 42D. Okay, so yeah, D or double D. But this is the underwire, a size 42 double D. If you, if you are that size and you were looking for a new brand of bra, they are well made. Um, you know, there's some spandex in there for stretch. It's a nice underwire and it just feels, it feels substantial. All right, so moving right along with some more shoes. We have these Steve Madden chunky, lug style uh, bottom um, summer sandals, I guess. And they are a size, goodness gracious, okay, under there, that's if you can't find the size, underneath like where the tongue would be, and they are a size seven and a half. Really, really cool, and they are leather. Here we go, I was talking about sass. These retail for 159, and they are a size seven cap toe, uh, maybe like a one and a half inch heel by sass size 11 gorgeous mary janes mary janes currently are the most popular shoe right now mary jane flats okay how about this does anybody know what this is this was anthropology too i've never sold an anthropology winter hat or any hat i saw this and i was like wait what's that huh is that a headband is that a do i even know do i even need to know i will insert a picture of how you're supposed to wear this and i think we've all had enough of that <laughs> Anywho, next is a pair of Madewell flare. I don't think I've ever found, I, I find Madewell a lot, but I don't think I've ever found their flare jeans. Skinny jeans used to sell. Now you can't even give them away. These are the perfect vintage flare jean in size 27, and they are 100% cotton and flare. And I think Madewell retails for 128. So I will hopefully get about 40 or 50. All right, next I have a very cozy terry cloth. These are the type of robes, size 2X. We got Stan Herman, which is the brand that I actually like from QVC. It's a full zip. You're getting out of the shower, you're cold, you wanna be cozy, and it's just a full zip up and go. It has your pockets, and it's super full length, and it's, I have like four, four or five. I think I have six bathrobes. I do not need another one, but I do love a big plus size, oversized, warm and cozy, um, cozy bathrobe. And it's like an aqua, aqua green color. Look at that attention to detail, the zipper pull. And again, it has pockets, which is awesome. It's full ankle length and let's see ankle length on me. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Next I have Hayden, which is a boutique, and it's a sought-after boutique, which I didn't know about, and it's a, just a fun tie-dye size 2X um, sweatshirt, but it's a spandexy sweatshirt, real stretchy, and it doesn't have like the fuzzies, so it could be good for year-round. All right, next I have two sets. I never pick up Ashley Stewart, and I think I've mentioned that before, but I have two sets. I won't bore you with both sets, but because they're exactly identical. I did pick them up. They were in the jammy department, PJ. So I'm not sure these would be great for bridal showers. They retailed for 59 a piece and I have four, four pieces, so that's good. Um, I think I spent 10 and they are a full length jack, uh, jacket, a full length jogger with pockets and the bottom of them have the um, velour. So I'm thinking uh, bachelorette party, that's what I'm thinking. So those are the bottoms and I have two sets and this is the top, it's a hoodie full length hoodie, um, velour trim, and that silver is soft, that sparkle, don't think that's hard and like, it's not sequins, it's, they're on there and they're smooth and soft. And one are a size 30, 32, which is a 4X, a size 4X. The other ones were a size 26, 28, which would have been 3X. All right, moving right along guys. You know I cannot leave this I think of Peacock or Mermaid, look at that. True 80s bling dinner jackets, size 2X, Lawrence Kazar, 
a very, very good brand when I find these and they're not missing any, any uh, sequence and holes and they don't have no odor whatsoever, no musty odor, I have to pick them up. This is gorgeous. If my life was that fancy, oh my goodness. They don't have much stretch, but it is a, it is a 2X. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Like where are you going exactly though? Like maybe a cruise, but where? In the winter time? Because this is warm and it's heavy. Um, I don't know dinner party, like you're going to a fancy restaurant, you have a little black dress maybe, and you're putting it and leaving it open. I don't know where you're wearing these things, but someone's gonna love it. And I do sell them pretty, oh, take that off. I do sell them pretty frequently. Um, I do have some dresses and skirts that don't do as well, but these over jackets seem to do well, and I will put it up for 100 actually. I'll probably actually put it up for 125 and take a $100 uh, offer. Okay. Um, Okay, next, we have two more things, guys. I hope you're still with me. A pair of Vionic, size six. And these are snakeskin, genuine leather, size six. They look like they were actually never worn. So not even like new, probably new without tags. There's nothing at all. Oh, yeah, they even have the sticker on the back still. Again, they retail for like 129. I'll probably put these up for 50 and arch support, size six. And then the last, the last are these Cole Haan leather men's um, Oxfords. And they are huge and they are a size 13D. That's not too huge. I think I have these up right now in a size 16 as well. Beautiful brown shoes and they probably retail for maybe 400. Gorgeous, gorgeous, barely worn. I always wonder like, I almost feel like men get like a job in an office and then hate it and then go back to a blue collar work. I don't know that they wouldn't need them because they're heavy. They don't look too comfortable. Maybe they are. Okay guys. Oh my gosh. I have one more. I have one more thing that I sourced. Let me show you a 1950s ladies home journal. And the cool part was I'm going to do a video like going through it because the advertisements are really cool. It actually says, Vera, keep this magazine because Ruth wants it back. And I don't know, I live in North Carolina. I don't know where it, originally, where it came from. It came from some storage locker, that's what I heard. My grandma was Ruth and her best friend was Vera, which I thought was interesting. And they were in Florida, so I don't know. But anyways, that's what came into my hands and I got it for $5. So that is it, guys. Um, that is my huge haul. I hope you liked it. Please comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And let me know what sourcing, if you are a reseller, what are you sourcing, what are people buying, and I will talk to you next week. See you later, and bye-bye.